Okay, so next item up, I'm all about saving money. And I don't think there's any of us who aren't. I mean, you know, I think we all look for ways to really save money. One of the biggest expenses we have in our life is obviously going to the groceries and buying food. You know, you get the checkout and you're like, oh man. And you look at the bags, you're like, that cost me a lot of money. One of the worst things to do is having to throw it out because it's gone bad. And we have one of the easiest answers to ultimately save you a lot of money. And it is from that great company, Cuisinart. So our next item up, Kelly rejoins me. We're going to show you how you're going to save a ton of money because we're going to suck that air out of the yes. food, which does the damage to the food. It's absolutely right. So how about a bag of salad? How, I mean, how many times have you had this mush mess, like the salad soup? Or have you ever, oh, we got to eat the salad tonight instead of ordering pizza because it's about to go bad. You ever had that? It's right. like, I really don't want salad tonight. Okay. This will save you rather than the big clunky food sealers that you can get for over a hundred dollars and they take up like a whole cabinet. This is all you need and this is a this is what's called our handheld vacuum it's Cuisinart which we love huge customer pick um, so take and you're getting two dozen bags by the way reusable BPA free dishwasher safe all you do is take it and by the way the little zippy tie comes included uh, you, you can use it you don't have to it's totally up to you You can use your fingers to seal it as well and then all you do is take the little suction and you put it right on that red dot and you pull okay there's a little button that you pull and you can see the air leaving your food that is air that will dis degrade your, your bag of lettuce or your uh, herbs, your cilantro, your parsley. And you have complete and utter control over how much air you evacuate. Most of those sealing systems would have crushed this lettuce. They would have turned this lettuce into soup because of the power and because of the strength. But you don't have to crush it. You have complete control by pulling that trigger, how much air you evacuate. It's really great for things like the strawberries and the blueberries because we've got strawberry um, season coming up here in Florida. So strawberries will be all across the country on these great BOGO deals. And most food sealers on the packaging says don't try berries or don't do berries because it crushes them and you don't want to freeze blueberry juice or, blue or strawberry juice. But because you have complete control over the amount of air you evacuate, you can remove all of the air surrounding the berries without crushing the berries. That's, great. That's huge. And then you don't have anything huge to store. All you have is this little vacuum sealer to store. Same with your blueberries. I love to freeze my blueberries because blueberries are one of those fruits that are great frozen and can freeze you know thaw really nicely but notice with a food sealer those would have been crushed smashed right. to death yeah. guess what I can tr you know control all of the air that I evacuate I don't have to crush them and what's really special about this is not just the size it's nice and small it's rechargeable no double-a battery so you just place it boom right there on the charger whenever you need a good charge plug it into the wall and then that zippy thing that I was telling you that's the official technical term the zippy <laughs> thing it sits right on board and it zips right across the plastic bags you're getting two Two dozen reusable bags. So if you're thinking, well, how often will I have to rebuy the bags? I've never had to rebuy the bags. Yeah. I just turn them inside out in my dishwasher, and next time I go, I resell them again. So these are reusable. They're BPA-free. Um, if you own one of our sous vides here from HSN, you can sous vide in these bags. I mean, they're that high quality. Wow. Things like your parsley, your cilantro, your rosemary, any of your herbs, the air goes into them, and it just degrades them in minutes. And you never use an entire bunch of herbs I mean that's a lot that's of herbs great. and they sell herbs in like these oh. big chunks right and they cost a fortune they're like six seven dollars and you'll never use that much in one recipe right. you only need a little sprig now look how flat that's flat as a piece of paper all the air is removed from here Do, can you imagine how much longer that's gonna last oh yeah I absolutely. mean in my personal experience three times longer we've right. had people tell us weeks longer right I mean it's just totally you know depends on what you're storing on the inside but if you're thinking well is it still powerful I mean it's still incredibly powerful and let me just show you we put a soda can on the inside side here so you can do things like your steaks and your chicken breasts and your salmon and your anybody that's a hunter or a fisherman you you already know the value of one of these because if you take you know if a lot of people hunt and they take one deer a season or something what do you do with all that meat right you have to seal it and freeze it right. and you don't want those big giant food sealers because they're clunky they're cumbersome they're expensive and this is just this fits in my little utensil drawer well and I think that's one of the really interesting things about when you read the customer reviews right now this is a customer pick there are multiple five-star reviews and many of them over and over again said, I tried the big units. They're bulky, they're awkward, they're not easy, and they're not fast. So what ends up happening is, do you have one of those big old units in the back underneath your cabinet collecting mm -hmm. dust? Yep. You probably do, because we all love the concept, and we understand, hey, if you suck the air out, it's going to make my food last a lot longer. That's why everybody reviewed this one and absolutely loves it, mm -hmm. because again, you can do as much or as little, but you get the same exact effect.
effect as you would a very expensive, very bulky machine. I think it's all in on this, especially if you've been throwing a lot of food away or maybe you want to buy in bulk. Yes. Because, uh, this is the worst thing. It's my husband and I, and my husband loves buying in bulk. But it's I'm the like, way to save like, money. I know. Yes. But still, I'm like, honey, we I can't agree possibly with you. eat all that between the two of us. I don't want that that much that often. Right. And with having this, all of a sudden you don't have to worry about it, and you get in on that great savings of yeah. buying larger amounts and buying in quantity and being able to save it easily. I love it. And like you said, that machine, the one that's oh, the big old one you slap on the and counter. And you always have to read by the same up. brand of bags. And you oh, can yeah. never figure out where to get them. And it takes up so much space. It does. Look at this. Yeah, I, mean, I fit that in my, where I keep my spatula. It's about the size of a, a little, really, a small screwdriver. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like a little drill. Yeah. yeah, drill, yeah. So this is another one. So if you're somebody or you, there's somebody in your family that does the fresh coffee at the coffee shop, because guess what? It tastes better. It just does. That's why they can charge $7 for it. The reason it tastes better from a coffee shop is because it's fresh. And the reason when you get it at home and you try it and it doesn't taste as good as a coffee shop $6 coffee, it's because it's not fresh. Why? Because there's a reason that coffee companies vacuum seal, okay? Mm -hmm. It's the moment it hits air, it starts to taste stale. And you know, that's why we opt for the very expensive coffees. If you just reseal your coffee after every use, you're restoring that factory seal each and every time. And then it tastes like the coffee shop coffee every time you go in. And you can see as the air is being removed, I have complete control. I can stop or start whenever I want. And then you're resealing, you're restoring that factory seal so that you will have, it's just like that, just like that brick, you will have fresh coffee every time you go for coffee. So if you are somebody that does the coffee shops because it tastes better, you will save this amount, I'm guessing in a month. I mean, really, if you do a lot of the coffee. Um, because a lot of people do go there for that fresh taste. Now this is a big one and you were talking about your husband went to buy like in bulk. In bulk yeah. So there's that show on TV that the sharks, you know, and they're all rich <laughs> and they tell you the number one thing to do to save money is to buy in bulk. And if you can't and you're struggling with buying in bulk, this is really great because here's a big one. This hmm. is like a BOGO flat of chicken breast, but this could be pork or steaks or whatever. Buy one, get one free. I just saved, let me get the uh, frozen off of there, Twenty-one twelve. I just saved $21.12. Wow. Now, if I store it this way and then it's freezer burned and I throw it in the garbage, I haven't saved any money, right? I just threw away money. But when you get it home, just take the extra maybe minute, two minutes of your life and marinate it inside its own bag. And so that the next time you go in for your chicken breast, it's ready. It's already marinated and it's not freezer burned. And then you have saved the $20. You can even store it in smaller baggies. You're getting a dozen of the pint, a dozen of the gallon, and there's all your chicken breast ready to go each and every time. It's the same with ground beef. Ground beef is oftentimes for the little flat, you know, buy one, get one, or certain percentage off. Take it and seal it into one of our bags. That way, you know, you know that each time you go in for it, look at the freezer burn already happening here. Right. Sometimes you get them out of the grocery store and you're like, oh, it was freezer burn before I even got it home. Right. And that's air getting into the packaging. This packaging is not vacuum sealed. This was not designed to go right into your freezer. They're not going to tell you that, but it wasn't. Right. And these bags were. Well, the other thing too, again, if, if for what I found, and again, through this new venture of trying to really change my eating lifestyle, yep. is pre-prep. Yeah, pre prep, pre prep, pre prep. So when that stuff's ready in the kitchen and it's ready to go, and you come home after a long day yep. and you just grab that chicken and it's already pre marinated yep. and you can cook it up quickly for your family. Do you have a sous vide? You can throw it right into a sous vide. I know, which is really yes, interesting. Yeah. If, uh, I do not bag, have a sous vide. That's, that's a little like, advanced for me. No, but. throw it in the <laughs> sous vide yeah, if you own one. But I'm serious. Or a pressure cooker, open the bag, pressure throw it in your pressure cooker, that. press the button. That, yeah. That's great too because you're now you're eating healthy again and it's already pre done. Right. I love it for dry goods as well, though. Anybody that's, that's an outdoorsman, a hiker, you know, somebody that goes on boats or anything, you want to be able to have preserved foods, right, that aren't getting stale, that aren't getting the moisture involved, or if they're camping or, or kayaking. Or how about the kids who just don't close the cereal box? Right. right. Good point. There's I mean, that's every kid on the planet, exactly. I think. Yes. It's every human being. Yes, it friendly. really is. And you can control. So I don't have to crush my crackers. I don't have to crush my Cheerios, it, the baby food, the snacks. Nothing gets crushed as it would in those big sealing machines. Those big sealing machines really do protein. They do protein well. Yeah. But they don't do anything else well because everything else can be crushed and this does everything else well so you could actually get rid of that big food saver machine right. and you could use this oh for bread get out you know your bagels your english muffins mm. take them right out of the packaging and either keep them
them room temp sealed, okay, so keep them, you know, in your bread bowl or whatever, sealed, or freeze them sealed, but don't put them in the refrigerator because that's not the best place for bread. And now you're not gonna get the mold growing and you're gonna have fresh bread and you can take advantage of those deals on the bread or you can get fresh bread from the bakery or maybe you bake your own fresh bread. Well, what's the problem is too, again, if you're only eating for a couple of you, you get a big, long baguette, you mm -hmm. cut half of it, and the other half you try to stuff back in that really kind of, I don't know, creepy plastic thing they give it to you yeah, in. Yeah, and it, it's, all of a sudden you're like, why is it stale the next day? Yeah. Just transfer it into here. Yeah. And again, we all love the concept of this. Yes. We, we all try the big machines. You might have one that has collected dust, yep. and it's in the back of the cabinet. You never use it because the first couple times you did, you knew it was brilliant, but it was a hassle. Mm -hmm. This ends the hassle. It makes it easy I mean, look and look at how fast. fast. Is. Yeah. And think of the money you're going to save because you're not throwing away food that's gone bad. Yep. I do want to show you the config over here. We're actually getting 12 and 12. Yep. We do have extra bags, but please remember, the bags you get with our set today are completely reusable. reusable. They're dishwasher safe, so you get plenty of bags. But if you do need extra bags, we have available the gallon set and also the 24 bags in the quart yeah, size. And the, yeah, the two gallons, too, oh, I think, the two are available. Gallons, that's yeah. right. Yeah, we have and the one gallon, the two gallon, and the quart size. The two gallons are really great for people that do hunt and fish. So mm -hmm. if you know somebody that's an outdoorsman or a hunter or fisherman and they don't own a vacuum sealer, they've been eyeing them, okay? Because True. you've got to be able to preserve and protect those proteins that you're taking. So look at your salmon. I mean, what a perfect way to store salmon or gift salmon away. Now you can gift it this way. If you are getting, you know, a great catch, you can gift it away. You can even marinate. When you marinate under vacuum, you actually open up the pores of the protein and all the juice, the marinating juice, the lemon, the seasoning, infuses into the pores. So you get a better experience when once you cook it. And most people don't realize that. But there's actual marinating machines just to marinate under vacuum. All you need is this. You don't it's need so one true. of those. You don't need the big clunky food sealers where you have to keep buying their bags. You're getting two dozen bags, reusable, and the convenience of this small little, you know, vacuum. And it just plugs into charge. And guys, I gotta tell you, it's a huge price break. It's $69.95. Today, it's $39.95. Yeah. So, and again, that price will go up. It'll go back to almost $70. And we have four flex only through tomorrow. Kelly, thanks.